Let's talk about Lou Adams. You can see him here on the picture. And probably most of you don't know who this is, but without him, the world of hip hop would have probably looked totally different. He sadly passed away last weekend at the age of 94. So I thought it was the perfect time to pay a final respect to him. And for you guys and girls who do not know who Lou Adams is, he's the inventor of the cassette. Hi, I'm the hip hop collector. The year is 1963 and a small and portable way to play a record is invented and introduced to the world. The compact cassette. And I was thinking, whoa, without this invention, I would not have been introduced into the world of hip hop like I was because I was 12 years old when I received my first boombox and I've gotten my, like you already seen in previous episodes, first cassette, Beastie Boys. But without that, I would not have gotten all this, probably. No, I did not have a turntable, so I was not able to go and buy vinyl. The only rap tracks that I heard were on the radio. They didn't play that often here on the radio back then. A um, little bit on the television, of course. But yeah, what would it have been without a tape? There would not have been mixtapes that you could buy or make yourself, recording from the radio, later on from the compact disc to the cassette, to make sure you were able to walk on the streets. Because that was the whole purpose. Portable. Oh man, when I think back about those days to make your own tapes, to go and walk on the streets, to school, to the shops, whatever, and listening to your favorite tracks. That was so cool. And I went into my, my collection, opened some boxes, and I found my old Walkman. This is a Sony Walkman. The exact same one? I only had one, so this is the one that I always took with me. I put some batteries in it and it still works. That's awesome. This brings back a lot of memories and I think a lot of people share the same feeling. This was awesome. The Walkman. I also found back a box with Maxell cassettes. This one is still packed with all 10 of them. They're still in foil, unopened. I'll just keep these. This is just memories to the fullest for me. My preferred brand was the TDK, I know that, but the Maxwell was also good. I always bought the 60 or the 90 minutes. And when going through my stuff, I also found back, like I told you, a TDK, 60 minute tape, very important, the DJ Tomahawk Mix Volume 1. That was me. I put it back on, it's not good, <laughs> totally not. But that was me, DJ Tomahawk, because my name is Tom and DJ Tomahawk, the Tomahawk came from Funk Dubious. Memories. But what would it have been without this? I'm so happy that I lived those days. All thanks to Lou Odens. Who could have imagined this? Wow. Lou Odens was also in the team creating the compact disc later on, so big thank you. This all these tapes played a major role in me becoming what I'm known for now, the hip-hop collector. And 
it's my introduction to the world of hip-hop so that's very emotional for me so thank you very much Lou Adams rest in peace see you in the next episode